if you want to know how to put one of these guys on a hook, you're in the right place. My name is Wesley Littlefield. I'm a writer and content creator for YourBassGuy.com. And today I'm going to teach you how to put an earthworm on a hook. So let's get started. All right, so if you want to look like a hero when putting a worm onto a hook, this is your video. I do it three ways, typically. I'll either take a whole worm like this one, I will literally feed it onto the hook, feed it onto the hook, all the way. Keep doing it, just like so pinch it on there and then I'll pinch it off right here like this and that way keeps the bluegill from pecking at it and just destroying it all and it just works now it's not my favorite way to do it just because the bluegill can once they get that worm over the barb it's pretty much over and they just suck it right off and it's gone and you got to rebate this second way is my really all-time favorite for any kind of fishing really for the second way you're going to take another pretty big chunk and you're just instead of feeding it through the worm like you did earlier you're going to go perpendicular to the worm like that another loop and another loop and just keep feeding it and keep feeding it until that worm is all the way on the hook And then you want a bunch like that and when you do this it helps when they peck it off a little bit and they can't actually take all of your worm at once so you get a lot more bites per worm which is what I'm looking for ultimately and the last way that I'll hook it and once again it's not my favorite but it looks the most natural you feed it through like the first one all the way make a couple double backs on itself like you did with the second time and then leave the rest dangling and this way it'll look a little bit more natural to the fish it's got a little bit dangle of course bluegill and everything will come and peck this and just destroy that and you won't have that for very long but it'll stay on there for a little while and it works really well trying to get those bass and just about anything else in the pond to hit it. Now that I got my hands all cleaned off from all that gobbly goop from the worms, I gotta say that these three ways are the three ways that I do it all the time. I've caught loads, loads, and loads of fish of various species from bluegill to catfish to bass, you name it. I've caught them on a live worm like that, rigging it this way. So if you want to look like an expert, do it this way. And if you want to learn a lot more about other live baits, then I've got a video down below me you can check out. Otherwise, remember that education is important, but fishing is essential.